Let's take a deeper look at the new service, AWS Shield Network Security Director. This service is currently in public preview. During preview, the service is available in limited regions and single account. Before we get into the console, what exactly is Network Security Director? Network Security Director helps customers secure their AWS environment by discovering compute, networking, and network security resources across your account. It evaluates each resource's security configuration by analyzing network topology and security configurations against AWS best practices and threat intelligence, presenting these as risks. Risks are rated informational to critical severity and include remediation steps. In addition, customers can use natural language to query Network Security Director through Amazon Q Developer. We'll start by going to the console. First, we need to kick off our first analysis. For this analysis, we can choose to target all supported regions or select a specific region. Let's analyze all regions. This takes just a minute, so we'll be back when the analysis is complete. All right, our analysis is all done. The service will automatically rescan every 24 hours, but you can also kick off a new analysis on demand. Let's look at the dashboard to see identified risks and our resource inventory overlaid with those risks. The dashboard groups risks by severity and frequency, helping us identify which risks are both the most critical and widespread across our resources, enabling us to prioritize our remediation efforts effectively. Risks can be examined using several visualizations. This first visualization shows the total number of findings by severity level, displays how these findings are distributed across your resources. Another visualization breaks down findings by resource type, showing the number of findings at each severity level. As an example, we can filter to show only medium and high severity findings. We can quickly see these specific risks across resources such as application load balancers and API gateways. We're going to skip over the Amazon Q integration and come back to that at the end. Next, we can break down findings by network security resources. Resources in this case refer to resources such as security groups or web ACLs. We can also filter these by findings by severity. Finally, we come to the findings by type table. This table provides a comprehensive list of all current risks, showing both the total count of findings and their breakdown by severity level. Looking at our first finding, You'll notice something interesting. While it shows multiple low severity instances, the same finding also appears as a medium severity risk. This distinction is a key feature of Network Security Director, so let's take a closer look to understand why these severity differences exist for the same type of finding. Looking at this finding, we can see numerous network, ACLs, and security groups flagged with low severity findings. However, there's also an EC2 instance marked with a medium severity for this same finding. This finding specifically identifies resources that have or allow outbound access to any IPv4 address. While this configuration on network ACLs or security groups is discouraged, its mere existence doesn't create an immediate security risk. Let's examine the EC2 instance more closely to understand why it warrants a higher severity level compared to the same finding on security groups or network ACLs. Now we're seeing one of Network Security Director's most powerful features, the visualization of network topology with overlaid risks. Starting from the EC2 instance on the far left, we can trace the complete network path moving right through each component, the ENI, associated security groups, subnet, network ACL, VPC, and ultimately the internet gateway. This visualization clearly shows us that this EC2 instance has a complete path to reach any IPv4 address on the internet. This is precisely why the finding carries a higher severity for the EC2 instance. It represents an actual exploitable security risk rather than just a potential risk like we saw with the standalone security groups and network ACLs. Now that we've identified the risk, what if we need help fixing it? By expanding the resource window, we can examine the finding in detail. Looking at this expanded view of the finding we just reviewed, 
Network Security Director provides step-by-step -step remediation instructions. These instructions guide you through exactly how to address the security risk. This specific finding can be addressed either by updating the security group or network ACL. Let's say we want to update the security group. It might solve the risk for this instance, but what else would be impacted if we changed the outbound security group rules? Let's go back to the network topology and select the security group and then show the network topology for that security group. As we examine the topology, we can see this security group isn't just attached to our EC2 instance. It's also being used by an application load balancer. Network Security Director's Topology View gave us this valuable insight into resource dependencies, helping us understand the full impact of any security changes before we make them. This prevents us from accidentally disrupting other applications while addressing this network security risk. Let's examine another risk detection that showcases Network Security Director's unique capabilities. Consider a common web application architecture where CloudFront sits in front of an application load balancer. Network. Security Director identifies resources that are using CloudFront but haven't restricted their network access to only accept traffic from CloudFront IPs. This is a security best practice that customers might either be unaware of or may have configured incorrectly. Just as we saw with our previous example, Network Security Director provides step-by-step -step instructions to properly secure these resources by restricting access to CloudFront IPs only. So far, we've seen how Network Security Director goes beyond simple resource inspection by identifying complex security risks across interconnected resources. However, customers often need more than just risk identification. They need the ability to ask specific questions about their environment and receive customized guidance for implementing or correcting their network security configurations. This is where Amazon Q Developer Integration comes into the picture. By combining Network Security Director's understanding of risks and network topology with Amazon Q's natural language capabilities, customers can now ask specific questions about their environment and receive detailed answers. Let's see this in action with some real-world scenarios. Imagine we have a security requirement. All systems tagged with a data classification of high must block inbound HTTP traffic from specific countries. Beyond just identifying any non-compliant resources, we need detailed remediation steps. Amazon Q's analysis reveals two non-compliant resources, an application load balancer and an EC2 instance both tagged with high data classification, but lacking restrictions on inbound web traffic from a specific country. For the ALB, Amazon Q provides detailed steps to implement a web ACL with a geo-based rule for blocking traffic. For the EC2 instance, it recommends configuring either security groups or network ACLs to instead only allow specific IP ranges. Consider the question we just asked. This shows how Amazon Q enables both AWS security experts and teams new to AWS to get the same expert-level security insights. Now let's ask something without any AWS context. A common concern for web apps is web scraping, especially from sophisticated or AI-powered bots. Let's ask Network Security Director if our applications are protected, and if not, how can we defend against them? Amazon Q's recommendation of bot control is spot on. It's given us a great starting point, along with the helpful documentation. A realistic follow-up question would be what level of bot control is needed for this use case. Let's ask Amazon Q to help us understand the different levels of bot control and determine which one would best protect against AI-powered scrapers. Amazon Q provides a nicely nuanced response here. While common bot control would handle some of our bot protection needs, it specifically points out that for sophisticated threats like AI-powered scrapers, you'll want to implement targeted bot control for more advanced detection capabilities. That concludes our demonstration of AWS Shield Network Security Director. This service goes beyond existing solutions by distinguishing high-priority, 
actionable risks that can be actively exploited versus misconfigurations that don't pose immediate threats. This prioritization helps security teams focus their remediation efforts on the most critical and exploitable risks first. The service provides comprehensive visualizations of both detected risks and network topology, giving you a clear understanding of your security posture. Finally, through Amazon Q Developer Integration, whether you're a seasoned AWS security expert or completely new to AWS, you can easily identify security risks, ask questions in plain language, and receive expert guidance on implementing the right AWS security solutions.